It is post time for the 2015 renewal live on TVG. They're off in the Alabama. Not the best of starts for Ima Chatterbox. Embellish the Lace is going out to take the lead, and Carolina is second to the inside as Lovely Maria takes her spot in third. And then comes Sweetgrass running in fourth position, four lengths off the lead early. Ima Chatterbox is fifth, and down on the inside as they move into that first turn, Danette is near the back of the field and include Betty doing her thing early on, trailing the field, 13 lengths off the lead, and the pace is honest enough here at 24 flat opening quarter mile. The leader is Embellish the Lace. Javier Castellano and Embellish the Lace a length in front as they go to the back stretch from Carolina and Lovely Maria to the outside. Break of another two to Ima Chatterbox, who's fourth onto the back stretch. Sweetgrass follows in fifth, five lengths off the lead, and it's six lengths more. Back to Danette, and the trailer is include Betty. The half was 48 and one fifth seconds. Embellish the lace, front running here in the Alabama, out there by a length and three quarters. John Velasquez and Carolina sit second as Kerwin Clark keeps Lovely Maria close up. Third on the outside as they continue the run to the half-mile pole. I'm a chatterbox is fourth heading for the turn. Then comes Sweet Grastonette. And still at the back is include Betty. Three quarters went in one, 12, and four. Around the far turn they go. Embellish the least the leader. Carolina turning up the heat now. And Lovely Maria's there on the far outside. I'm a chatterbox is three lengths off of them. And include Betty is out of last. And she's closing on the far outside. And they're into the stretch. Embellish the lace in front with one furlong to run. She's trying to take them all the way in the Alabama. Here comes I'm a chatterbox on the far outside. And she's second as they come down to the 16th pole. Embellish the lace. I'm a chatterbox coming to her, but she's not getting there. And embellish the lace has gone all the way in the Alabama. It was I'm a chatterbox second. Carolina was third. And Danette was fourth. We knew this filly had talent off of her maiden score at Parks and her A of the then at Pimlico as we take you back to the top of the stretch for the stretch run replay of the Grade 1 Alabama brought to you by Adina Springs. Go to adinastallions.com for more information. She ran poorly in the Mother Goose. They give her some time off and she bounces back with her speed. It was very effective and of course it wasn't kind to speed earlier today. Precisely and the fractions were legitimate. I mean 24 for the opening quarter. These are three-year-old fillies. This is a three-year-old filly making career start number Number five going 24. How about 48 1? That's a fairly swift half mile, 10 furlong event, and she just kicks away. She was so impressive that optional 50 win at Pimlico back in the early part of June that she went up as your second choice in the grade one Mother Goose and her subsequent start. She broke from the rail. She was never comfy. The pace was ridiculously hot. She was part of it, 22-3, 45-2, able to get the lead, relax, and a great job by Javier Castellano, getting her to settle, really, in the middle stages of this race. Owned by the Lieb Longs, bred by Windstar Farm, by their stallion super saver, a Keeneland graduate, trained by Tony Dutrow. 